Hey, what's up, guys? This is Miguel. I'm coming to you from uh, Quarry, Quarry Lake. God damn it, saying it bad. Quarry Lake in uh, Maryland, just outside of Baltimore. Um, I want to talk today about um, electricity. This is a topic I used to bring up to my friends. They were quite younger than me. They're like four, four, five years younger than me, or something like that. Uh, maybe six years younger than me. And um, I bring it up to them just because I wanted them to think about things. Granted, I didn't know the answer. I might have known more than them, and so I want to see where their head was at as far as electricity is concerned. But I definitely didn't know a whole lot, or I didn't have the specific answers that, to the questions that I was asking them. I just wanted to get them thinking and get them to um, sort of think outside the box and figure things out. So, um, one of the things I used to think about when I was younger was um, how does electricity work? And I think that question uh, popped up in my head uh, mainly off the fact that I didn't really understand how computers work. And to this day, it's like, I, general, I have like a general idea how computers work. I have a better idea probably than most people um, that haven't taken any computer classes or anything like that. And not computer classes as in office classes and stuff or Windows classes, but actual, you know, some computer science classes. Um... But it's still, it's still kind of confusing to me. And so is electricity. So um, initially, it's like, okay, you plug some object in to your wall socket. Electricity goes through the um, wall socket, through the plug, to the object, and then it works. And, you know, for years and years and years, that's all you got. And I don't think they talk about, in general, they don't really just talk about electricity in high school or middle school. It's not a thing. Like, this is how electricity works. You know, you got to get into, like, an engineering class, I guess, to, to actually get some, some knowledge on electricity. But, you know, it's like, um, it's like I, didn't, I, don't, I didn't understand how it worked. And so, I think that one of the easiest ways to understand how it works uh, in general terms is to um, get into electronics, you know, uh, pull out a board, you know, one of those, uh, one of those boards from like a, from like a controller or, or, or old cartridge and look at that. And um, that'll give you like a general idea of not exactly how electricity works but it gives you sort of a general idea at least how that thing moves electricity through it to get it to work so you got the wafers um or the cards the chips whatever you want to call it the silicone chips that uh have all the the um the circuits on it the circuits uh take electricity and pass it through to the components that it needs to pass it through. And then the silicone itself is sort of like a way to um, make sure that the electricity doesn't um, propagate in the wrong direction, basically. You know? Now, see, I, like I said again, I could be saying this wrong. So, please excuse. So, uh, past that, it's like... Um, I say, like, how's the fan work? Well, I found out about the um, induction motor, which is an uh, invention by, um, by the great uh, um, Nikolov Tesla. Nik Nikolai. Nikolov. Nik Nik Tesla. Basically. <laughs> it's done by Tesla. And so, what the induction motor does is that it has... Uh, well, what people found out before Tesla is that if you take two magnets and put coils around them um copper coils because copper um is good for transmitting uh electricity and i shouldn't be using transmitting 
I should be using a better scientific term, but I can't think of a term right now. So you use that, you rub them basically near each other, and it produces electricity. And you can do it at home if you want. It's safe and fun and great for the kids. Um, so they learned that that, that could work. But um, I think uh, up until Tesla, nobody was really using it um, quite that way to produce electricity. And then he came up with a deduction motor, which is a bunch of magnets, right? Um, I think at his time it was only three. And then you have one magnet in the middle that has the, co the copper coil around it. It's either that or the outside has the copper coil and then the, the magnets in the middle. Either way, there's magnets on the outside, there's magnets on the inside, there's copper coil, right? And then um, using electricity, if I'm not mistaken, the electricity switches the magnets on and off. North, south, north, south, north, south. There's one magnet in there or whatever that is north and south on its own. And so it keeps getting pushed and pulled, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, so it keeps spinning. Right? Because of that spinning, it can produce electricity, that's how the alternator works. Or um, you could use that spinning motion to spin something like a fan. Um, because it has a sort of a um you could use that motion power to torque uh use it for torque power for the, the fan itself. So a lot of things run off of an induction motor, um, from refrigerators to um, to fans to uh, turbines, um, like like water turbines, like you you know, um, like a dam, like Hoover Dam. The water comes through, hits the turbine, it spins, and there's magnets in there, um, and then that is used to uh, create electricity, and then that electricity is shipped across to uh, homes and stuff like that um, so that really helped me learning about induction motor really helps me into understanding because um, just like eating food when you're a little kid all you know is that you're taking food you're sticking it in your mouth it goes to your stomach and that's it that's all you know and so that's how electricity for me you plug it in electricity goes in there and somehow electricity makes the motor I mean the the it's like the electrons themselves are doing the work when it's not actually doing the work the electrons themselves are um interacting with another piece that does the work which I didn't understand now I sort of do um and that it goes for you know pretty much everything like computers work a little different they uh they have set paths that they run and they have switches and so um, when a switch has a certain charge the switch is up when the switch has, uh, when the, I think when the switch loses its charge the switch goes down no when a switch loses its charge this this the switch loses its charge the two connectors break from each other and then when the switch gains its charge it connects and because it connects the electricity passes to the next component or the next um, route that it's going to type of thing and so that's how it all runs um, and it's still amazing to me it's sort of still like uh, magic because I I don't fully understand it and it's kind of hard to um, try to piece it together to figure out what's going on I don't, it's kind of even hard to explain I don't even know if I'm explaining it right um, to get this good sense a good idea of what I'm I'm getting at what 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 I don't understand what I don't get you know it's kind of I feel like it's kind of hard for me to explain that to you guys um, but it's it's an amazing thing it's a it's a um, it's a weird thing no I don't I don't understand. So at time to time, I you know sit back and I think about it, try to figure it out. And um, I haven't I haven't gotten that far yet, you know. Uh, and so I'm not the type of person to go. I don't understand. Let me just go and um, let me just go and look this up. 
I'm gonna try to figure it out. If I see something to look up, then I'll go look it up. But I'm not. That's not my main intention. Is to just go and and look things up. I want to try to, you know, take what I know, incorporate that into uh, some type of logical experiment, and then have a theory, and then see if that theory works. You know, mentally, you know, keep my try to keep my mind sharp on um, questioning questioning things. So that's where I'm at with electricity. Um, so. If you got any ideas, if you got any uh, comments that you want to say about electricity, what you know, what you don't know, um, what you think, um, how you feel about it, um, things of that nature, uh, leave something in the comments or do a video response. That'd be nice. So I can see, uh, you know, you can post it on your channel and then other people might have some ideas too. So do a video response or... Um, Hit me up in the comments of this video. Let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, if you catch me on the streets anywhere from here to uh, to Dubai or uh, out in the space, make sure you shoot me a heads up display. And I will talk to you guys later. Give me a head nod. Up. There you go.